Born in 1878, Miss King entered Baylor Female College in 1892 and graduated with a Bachelor of Arts degree in 1896. Miss King began teaching English at Baylor Female College in 1902 and eventually became chairperson of the English department. Her tenure as a faculty member at Mary Hardin Baylor lasted approximately 33 years. As a loyal alumna, Miss King was influential in organizing Baylor College Clubs through Texas and served voluntarily as the first director of the Alumni Association. Miss King founded the College Museum, served as faculty advisor for the Baylorian, and was co-editor and co-compiler of the Book of Baylor Verse. Her book reviews were in great demand and she was active in literary circles. She was known as one of the country's outstanding scholars of Chaucer. Dr. William Harvey Van came to Mary Hardin Baylor College in 1919 and served as chairman of the English department from that time until 1958 with only two short intermissions in his almost 40 years of teaching. Dr. Van was a recognized authority and scholar on William Shakespeare and the Van Shakespeare Collection is housed in Townsend Memorial Library. In addition to directing the activities of the English department and teaching classes, Dr. Van authored an anthology of English literature, established the Torchbearer Literary Magazine, and helped found the Texas Institute of Letters, as well as the Texas High School Poetry Association. Eli Moore Townsend began her 70-plus year association with the University of Mary Hardin Baylor when she entered Baylor Female College in 1876 at Independence. After graduation and a year of study in Philadelphia, she was offered a teaching position at Baylor College in 1881. Soon after, Miss Ellie began formulating plans for a cottage home system to allow girls of limited means to earn half their expenses while attending college. Ernest Gale Townsend was educated at the Southern Baptist Seminary in Louisville, Kentucky, and at Baylor University. He pastored churches in Dallas and Waco before coming to Belton. E.G. Townsend and Ellie Moore were married in Baylor College Chapel in 1899. Ernest then came to the college in 1901 to teach Bible. From 1902 to 1907, he was pastor of First Baptist Church, Belton. He resigned to travel for the college to raise funds for new buildings and was active in the work of the cottage home system. He also served as mayor of Belton. E.G. Townsend and Ellie Moore Townsend were united in their loyalty and devotion to Baylor College and were associated with the college for the rest of their lives. The library, dedicated in 1961, was named to honor them. Agnes Stamper Lee attended Baylor Female College during the early 1900s and painted the tapestry in 1909. Agnes used oil paints on the piece, which is of a young woman wearing a Grecian-style robe surrounded by roses. This piece is characteristic of the classical style of education in the arts during the early 20th century. Mrs. Arla Ray Tyson was the first lady from 1954 to 1966 when her husband, Dr. Arthur K. Tyson, was president of Mary Hardin Baylor College. She was a sponsor of each freshman class, hosted numerous parties and receptions at the president's home, and transported students to cultural and religious events. Her special interest was campus beautification. When Townsend Memorial Library was constructed in 1961, an arched walkway was named in honor of Mrs. Tyson. Renovation to the library in 1994 incorporated the arcade into the new framework of the building. To continue the significant recognition given Mrs. Tyson by her family, the University of Mary Hardin Baylor designated an art and exhibition gallery in her honor in 2004. The Arla Ray Tyson, or ART Gallery, on the second floor of the library hosts art exhibitions of UMHB faculty, students, and guest artists.